Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, excellent video this, looking forward to this one. So, on my last Thundershot video, we put this chassis together. So, basically, this is a, a fully hopped up, or all original Thundershot. Um, so, I took all the Terra Scorcher hop up parts and fit it to a standard Thundershot. So, this is fully ball raced, it's got front and back camber links, adjustable. Um, got obviously got the mono shock, um, front and back sway bars, and there's probably something else, and I can't remember. Um, so in this video, we're going to get the shell done um, and get this car finished. So we've got an original thunder shot shell, which is mega cool and pretty rare. When I got the thunder shot, um, it actually came with the original decals for it as well. So that's superb. Um, Two paints needed for this one, which is PS1 and PS4. So box standard white and big wig blue. Um, tire writing on this is mega important. So we're using um, a Craft Smart um, oil based paint pen, ultra fine tip. And I've bought some Tamiya, what do they call it? Masking tape for curves. Never use this stuff. I just normally use normal Tamiya masking tape. But the, uh, there's a large canopy on this shell. So I thought we'd buy that and we'll give it a go. I've I've heard a couple of bad things about it, but it's not great. So we will see. So first step is to get the shell cut out. Now there's two kind of options on this shell because you have to cut a little bit extra out if you're keeping the mechanical speedo in because the um, resistor sits up here. So there's a little bit of the shell that um, if you're using that configuration, you um, you have to cut out so that pops through. But what I'm thinking of doing is I don't want to cut that because when I run it, I don't know how I'm going to run it yet. I might have an electronic speed controller in it. So for now, I'll just undo the two resistor screws and we'll just leave it loose so I can, when we fit the body, we'll leave that little piece of polycarbonate on for now. May well cut it off at a later date, but it's better leaving it on for now. That's the way I think about it anyway. So um, let's get cracking. So one bit I did forget to say is um, obviously we've got to do the driver canopy. So I've got, I've got two. This one's obviously it's original. It needs a really good clean. It's got it's had oil all over it. So in order to get the paint on it, I am going to have to give it a really good clean. Fortunately, where it mounts at the back with the screw, it's uh, it just got the better of it. But I think with a, a larger washer, I can still use that. The other one I have is painted on the outside and it'll be a bit more work. So we'll uh, we'll try get this one. Um, yeah, I think if, I think I've just got to concentrate on getting that really clean. Look at that! Look at it! That's something you do not see very often. Original thunder shot shell. That's incredible. All the holes already pre-cut for you. Uh, that's the line. That's the second line. That line that goes across. So if you're using the um, Mechanical speed or res resistor plate. That section there gets cut off. But as I say, I'm going to leave it. There's um, little bits of blue to add. It's two tone. It's got like blue sides here, and then the rest is white. Big canopy open. Um, but from memory, this little triangle bit is blue, and I believe that triangle bit there is blue as well. Possibly that section is blue as well. I'll have to check. Um, but we'll do it fully box art. Um, now there's signs of yellowing on this, which I'm a little bit concerned about. It's obviously been in the shop window for a long time. So I ho I'm really hoping once it's painted, I will give it a good scrub, but I'm really hoping that um, once it's painted, it gets rid of the yellowing. But um, yeah, not a lot we can do if it doesn't. Right, let's get that cut out. Okay, that's the shell cut out. and That was a little bit of a mission. And it brought back some memories, actually, from the original one I had. So, the, let's just take this off. It's really tight on the front end. So obviously it's it's pre-drilled already with being an original shell. So you sit it back down on the back end, no problem. But it's, it's about three to four mil, um, the mounts out slightly it's too f too far back for the actual hole um, and I kind of remember that back in the day um, and you have to cut a little bit extra off the front end 
to um, to get it sit correctly. Now, now I've done that, and that's clipped in it into position. Um, obviously, there's no body clips, but yeah, that's that's how it should be. Um, but yeah, that was a little bit of work to make that fit. And obviously, you have to do that, otherwise, you're going to have too much stress on that plastic um, on the front end, and that's pointless. But I'm, I'm loving that, and straight away I can tell how of the stance of the car that it's not sat too high, and uh, that's the look I really wanted. Another interesting fact is, um, as you know, we fitted the rear sway bar from the um, Terra Scorcher. Now, what I've had to do is, the obviously the back of the body must be different in width, so I've just had to splay out probably about two or three mil each side of the, of the bar because it was hitting on the shell either side so I've just opened it up very slightly and now obviously it's fine um, so that was a little bit more work than expected um, now I'll what I'll do now is oh one other thing and this has blown me away so let me just take that off as, as I keep saying original shell this polycarbonate is so thin it's it's ridiculously thin which obviously it was back in the day now i didn't think it had a protective sheet on it because a lot of early tamiya cars didn't you know the protective film um and funny enough i actually 100 percent believed it didn't because I'd, I'd kind of scratched it in other places just to make sure and then i seen this little bit here where it's come off and i just started picking at it it has got a protective thing on it which is awesome so i got a little bit of scrap and uh, as you can see so hopefully the, the yellowing on there will just be on that film so that's a right result that is so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to give it a quick sand and then i'm going to get this and uh, the canopy in some hot soapy water and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get them cleaned up there is quite a lot of extra masking to do on this that um, i'd kind of forgotten about so obviously we've got the, the main blue sides but we've also got this front section to mask off and do in blue and that back section. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at the other page. Yeah. So we've got to get all that done, which is cool. So, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. Right, so that's all washed now. Um, obviously dried off, so I've started the masking. Now, Tammy, you actually, Tammy you actually give you the masking lines on the actual shell for this, which is important. And it doesn't have to be pinstripe um, perfect because the decal itself is quite wide so you've got a little bit of scope if there's any little bits of leakage so that's a pretty good thing but that's only applies on the sides um, on the back that section's blue and on the front that section's blue so I've used that Tamiya um, curve tape it's completely different from masking tape it's, got, it's made from something different um, and I'm not sure about it so anyway fingers crossed on this bit but um, I will go over it with my fingers again and just sort of push it down even further but um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mask the rest of it so we can blast one two three four sections in blue um, yeah I think that's the best way I was going to do the canopy at the same time but I think we'll get the blue on first and then we'll remask that full canopy uh, and do the white so let's get that bit done right so that's it all mass masked off um, with the four sections we've got paint so I'll just use uh, an alcohol wipe and just clean those last little bits before we put the paint on I've got the paint warming up now um, that large masking tape I bought some um, this stuff which is it's Tamiya um, I placed a big masking tape order um, 40 mil I mean masking tape. I don't like it. It's I was I, I assumed it was this stuff, but just forty mil. But it's not. It's it's more like you kind of paper masking tape. You know, the cheap stuff you get. So yeah, I don't know if I'm really happy with that. It's it's really it's quite cheap, and I thought it'd be ideal for well, he's doing this. But um, yeah, I'm just not sure it's as as good as the other stuff. Anyway, I'm hoping I've got all my lines in the right place. I am a little bit concerned about the side ones, but um, we'll see. And obviously, I'm a bit concerned about this curve masking tape down here, but it's not going to bleed. So anyway, let's get um, the blue one. Right, that's about three, four coats of blue on. Um, 
I went a little bit too thick on that last coat. I got carried away, so it's going to have a longer drying time. But um, you get the gist of it. Obviously, we can't tell if there's any leaks yet that are going to be a problem that we need to fix. But uh, I like the blue. It's it's all, it's nice, and I think I've got got it in everywhere. So we'll let that dry now. Unfortunately, the canopy I was hoping to use is I've washed it, but it's really gunked up with some real crap, which I, I can't get off. Um, so I had the second one, um, which was already painted. So what I've done is I've just gone over it with, with a brush. So the, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy um, a brand new one of these. Um, Penguin do them. Um, I, this one, I've just I, I've redone the white on the outside. I've done the black seat belts. They look crap. And I've just painted the whole thing black because it was white. Um, but I've just sort of made it look... <sighs> It's not very good, I know, but it's it's presentable for now, so I can finish your car. So I've painted the helmet white, um, and I've just got to do the detail. This is the other um, helmet that I'm not using. So what I'm going to do is, I've painted the helmet white, I'm going to put flesh colour for his eyes, and then we'll, we'll put white in there afterwards. But I'm going to try to use a silver um, paint pen I've got to do the fire mask on his face silver. Just going to give it a go. Again, I'm going to redo this in the future at some point, or with, with new stuff. Um, so what I'm going to also try now, I'm going to do the tie writing, and I'm going to try it in silver. And I have no idea what it's going to look like in silver. It, it might look a bit pants, I don't know. It looks fantastic in white, but I just, I've been wanting to try this pen. This is the one I bought for the Subaru Brat body shell, uh, and I ended up using it on the Blackfoot as well. So I'm... I'm gonna. I'll, t I'll take the tyres off and I'll do one. Obviously, it'll need a couple of coats, but I just want to see what it looks like in silver. So um, I'll, wh while everything's drying now, that's what I'll uh, crack on with next. Right, I'm happy with that. I said I was only gonna do one, but I ended up doing two. I've only give it. This stuff goes on so much better than the white stuff. I have no idea why, but um, yeah, I'm. Up, that's one coat. Now, I'm. Up, I'm gonna leave it at one coat, and the reason is because. You have to kind of look closely to see it's silver. I don't know how it's looking on the big screen, um, but sort of in the flesh, at a quick glance, it just looks like it's white. Um, so I kind of like that. So I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do a second coat of that. So um, yeah, that's the first time I've used that, that particular colour, but I really like it. Right. So uh, again, use that curved masking tape. Um, I did the full canopy in one piece. <sighs> seems to go on okay um, but obviously we'll see at the end of it so yeah that's ready for the white now um, nothing else to do there's a bit of leak there but it's actually on the outside on the film so that's good so yeah I'll warm the white paint up and we'll start putting that on gently right so that's the chassis done um, that doesn't look too bad it's a little bit misshapen and stuff but I've got a little bit of detail on his helmet um, as I say once I've finished this, I'll order the full canopy section and probably get a brand new helmet as well um, to really do a much better one. But um, it's it's good enough, to be honest, for now. Um, and then obviously we've just put the wheels and the wheels on. And um, yeah, I think that's looking pretty sharp, to be honest. I'm really liking that. And then now we're just waiting for this shell to dry. So we've got about three coats of white on it. Um, yeah, really just want the white to harden so I can take it, the canopy masking off to see if there's any repair work I've got to do. And then once I've done that, I can take the protective film off the outside of this and just see, make sure that this is on the film and there's nothing else I have to do. So while I'm waiting for that to um, dry, I'm going to cut all the decals out. Right, that's all the decals uh, cut out. It gives you two number options, three or five, but um, the box art is free. Um, so, yeah, that means it's time for the moment of truth. So, first of all, I'll get the masking out and cross my fingers. Right, that curved masking tape's pretty good. I, I quite like it. I'm going to use it a lot more. And there's a technique of putting it on, which I kind of understood by the time I got to the end of this so in the future I'll, I'll be better at it but you can really make it work I did that full canopy in one piece including this sharp bit here that's that's really good so um, 
Yeah. Let's see if we can do this on camera. Oh, oh come on. Grab. Right. That's good news. That was on the film. <laughs> come on. That's a lovely crisp white colour. We really do like that. How satisfying is it doing this, guys? No, we got blue there. No. Right, let's just get rid of that. Let's have a look. That is a bummer. God. Right, that's going to be a mini repair. Um, right, overall, looks pretty good. I think it's one of those that it looks pretty nasty when it's like this, but once as soon as you get the, the stripes on that break the two colours and then the canopy on, it, it just absolutely comes alive. So, yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that, but um, there's that there. God damn. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What I want to do is I want to get them stripes on. I want to get the canopy on. I want to sort this front end out because I'm not happy with it. And we'll just put the side stripes on. And then we'll have a look at this bit. Look at that now. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. So there's one big decal. And then there's a little one that you just fold down for the downside. Um, but you see what I mean about how it just absolutely changes how it looks. Right, next up I want to put the canopy de decals on because um, that's the kind of trickiest um, and then the F everything else that's left after that is really simple uh, and it'll come alive quite quickly. So um, yeah, let's get his canopy on. Right, that's the canopy decal on. Um, it's quite tricky to get on actually but um, that's all the, the harder decals on. Um, the line's pretty good. I've got a little bit of white showing there, which I'll have to take off from the inside with like a cotton bud and the um, Tamiya polycarbonate paint cleaner. Um, and I want to. This is it's got a big cut out here for the antenna wire or tube, so it never actually the black line never continued. But I've got some of this black line tape, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna feed that down somehow. But I'll I'll do that later, just so it's uh, the gap is supposed to be there. But I think if I can bring it down, it'll look a little bit better. But um, yeah, that's that's awesome. No yellowing either, which I'd actually forgotten about. Right, let's get the other decals on now, because um, that won't take long now. Boom! So that's the shell pretty much done. Um, yeah, happy with that. A few little bits have got. A, I've got a little bit of fettling to do with it in certain areas. But um, overall, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Very happy indeed. I love this shell. Um, so I've got those little decals. Now, the two long ones go on the bumper and the, obviously the other ones for the um, helmet on the driver. So I'll just whiz them on very quickly. Right, so that's the little um, bumper ones. Let's see if I can zoom in. I like them, it's a nice little touch. Um, if you don't know they're there, they do kind of stand out a little bit. And then, um, driver's helmet, we've just put that one on. I've not done his eyes yet. But, um, yeah, that looks pretty cool. He's a little bit off to the side. <laughs> I think he's had a drink. Um, right, let's get the shell fitted. Boom! Oh my word, that's my childhood right there. It seriously is. The one I built back in the day wouldn't have looked as good as that, and I bet I didn't put the blue the blue on. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have done that, but maybe I did. Maybe I did. I don't know. So as I say, there's a little bit of fettling. I've got to do that little uh, repair to get that little blue off. But um, as I say, I want to. I should actually do it now while the paint's soft, but um, it's not that big a deal. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. That really is. Bit of sanding to do. Join this up. Them wheels are looking cracking as well. Look at it from this angle, guys. 
Just look at that thing. Oh my word, it is such a sexy car. Yeah. You know what I'm looking at tonight, don't you? All night. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. Are you a fan? Are you guys a fan of this thing? You've got to be. Who wouldn't be a fan of this thing? Oh, wow. Yes, very, very happy indeed. That is mint. We do a, an aftermarket, not an aftermarket, sorry. We do a, an old um, full wing for it. I don't know if you guys are aware of it. I'm not an actual lover of it. Um, bolts on at the back on wires and it comes really up. It's, it's, it's quite a high thing. But I'm, I'm not a fan of it. But um, if I do come across one, I'll probably get it. But um, yeah, I'm liking that. I'm loving that. And she's done. <laughs> very, very happy. Very happy. Oh, it's mint. It's a minter. Looks absolutely awesome. Isn't it incredible? That's like 33 year old shell and decals, and you just. People, you know, they've never been used in 33 years. It, it kind of blows me away. But um, anyway, that's my gain. Yeah, oh, just super happy with it. Again, feel I've got a fettle, there's a bit of fettling to do with it. But um, I'll do that off camera. Um, but yeah, yeah, very, very happy. My childhood. These things run great as well. So yeah, we'll at some point we'll figure out some electrics for it. Probably the Technigold motor, um, and we'll have a little rag around with it. Superb! I've got loads of these old tyres, this style, um, but they're all flat spotted. So a lot of you guys told me what to try. There was a couple of things boiling them was one of them, and there was something else. I can't remember what it was, but I'll go back to that and I'll read up because it'd be worth seeing if I could fix four tyres and get the flat spots off of them. Or order some foam and sort of pack them out from the inside, just so I can run them and save these tyres for um, Sunday best. What do you think, guys? Are you a fan of the Thunder Shot? Love it. Oh, and I've got to order a new driver cockpit as well. Although when it's in there, it's not too bad. That's one of those things. Now, if I don't order it in the next day or two, I won't. I'll just be lazy and I'll just keep that one. But I've, I've got to be honest, it doesn't look that bad. I've got to clean the canopy on the inside. It's got a little bit of adhesive. That that, that adhesive actually is um, that 40 mil Tamiya masking tape I was showing you earlier. So when it takes off, it leaves some rev residue, which you, the normal stuff doesn't. So that's not great. Um, so I won't use a lot of that. Um, the Curve Tamiya masking tape, it's awesome. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm really liking that. And that's, I've got some saloon car projects coming where I've got to do a little bit of sort of, sort of no, what would you call it? Just a little bit tricky masking, not straight lines. That's going to be ideal. It's a shame they don't make it a tiny little bit um, thicker. It's only about two mil or three mil. Um, so it means once you've done it, then you've got to go right to the edge with normal masking tape to seal it off and build it up. But um, yeah, it looks, it looks really good. So I'm a big fan of that. Anyway guys, I'll shut up. That's my work done for today. So guys, once again, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always guys, happy RCing.